10 cars, 40 laps, looking for green at the cone. Blair and Eck lead them. Off turn four, green flag. Blair and Eck. Off turn two, down the back stretch. Blair takes a one car like the advantage into three. Blair leads lap one. Eck second, wandering on the outside, challenging. Blair leads down the back stretch. Wanderling third, Scott fourth. Scott takes a look to the outside of Wanderling. Blair now with a half a straightaway lead already. Three laps in. Blair, Eck, Wanderling, Scott, Oaks, your top five. Wanderling now takes a look to the inside. Oh, Eck for second. Wanderling right on the bottom. Wanderling now side by side with Eck down the back stretch. Eck kisses the wall, keeps on going. Eck holds on to second. Wanderling on the inside again takes a look. Side by side to the stripe. Too close to call it the stripe. Wanderling right on the inside rail now. It takes, Wanderling takes over second momentarily into turn three. Wanderling on the bottom, Eck to the outside. Wanderling, your new second place car. Eck third, Scott still in fourth. Oh, contact coming off too. Eck rubs up against Wanderling, lets him gather it back up. Meanwhile, Blair keeps opening up his lead. Every lap, Max Blair opens another car link. Wanderling second. Good battle for third. Eck on the inside. Scott right in tow. Greg Oaks a close fifth. Seven laps in the books. Blair by a straightaway, rolls it into turn three. Wanderling by three car lengths over Eck. Scott hanging on to third, fourth. Scott takes a peek to the inside of Eck for third. Eck opens a, another car length lead. Back into turn three. Everybody knows to tail. Blair cruising. Blair enters one, Wanderling exits four. Beck maintains third, Scott keeps taking a look, nothing there. Egner now loses control in turn two. Caution, first caution of the event. 12 laps in the books, 28 to go. Max Blair leads the Delaware restart. Mike Wanderling Jr. in second, takes the inside. Doug Eck third, takes the outside. David Scott and Greg Oaks, your top five. Blair fires at the cone, green flag. Three car battle into turn one. Blair leads coming off, Wanderling now. Falls back behind Eck. Eck displaces Wanderling for second. Lap is complete, Scott now. Scott takes a look to the inside. Scott and Wanderling, Wanderling out of shape. Wanderling loses a handle, stacks him up. Wanderling and Oaks manage to keep rolling. Nathan Hill and Jason Dobson and Cody Igner all caught up in that. Down to old Bradford Speedway, battle of the bull ring. Max Blair, your leader. Doug Eck second in the Delaware restart. David Scott third on the outside. Mikey Wanderling and Greg Oakshire top five. Blair leads him to the cone and fires. Green flag. Blair again with the lead. Eck takes a look to the inside. Scott to the outside. Scott to the outside of Eck. Side by side through three and four. Blair leads. Egner loses control again. Stops in turn number four. Caution on the speedway. Caution on the speed. Fire at the cone. Green flag. Blair with the lead off turn two. 
Heck to the inside. Scott with a good run on the outside. David Scott starting to make a little noise. Blair right on the rail. Eck on his bumper. Scott to the outside. David Scott takes over second place from Doug Eck. Scott running the high side. Everybody else on the bottom. Boom, Briggs now. Briggs on the outside of Greg Oaks. Briggs looking to challenge for fourth. Blair again, right on the inside rail. Scott to the outside. Scott trying to hang on to Max Blair. Blair's dominated the event. This time though, Scott manages to keep him within his sights. Blair into three, right on the bottom. Scott right on the outside rail. Blair by three car links into one. Scott closes. Blair again opens the lead back up down the back stretch. Scott now tucks it down to the inside. Scott went from the outside to the bottom. David Scott trying everything he can to reel in Max Blair. Half cross flags, halfway, 20 down, 20 to go. Scott within three car lengths of Blair, caution on the speedway. David Scott takes the outside lane, Scott in second. Blair leads the charge into turn one. Scott to the outside, Doug Eck to the inside. Scott with a good run down the backstretch. David Scott now right on the tail of Max Blair. Blair right on the bottom, Scott to the top. Blair has led every lap thus far. Scott now really mounting a serious challenge. Scott reels him in going into the corner. Blair opens it up coming off. David Scott trying everything to reel in Max Blair. Blair leads. Scott ever so closer. Heck now a distant third. Greg Oaks fourth. Boom Brink fifth. Oh, Scott to the inside of Blair. It's a drag race. Drag race to the stripe. Blair with the advantage thus far. Scott now right on the bottom. David Scott using every inch of old Bradford Speedway. Side by side down the back stretch. Scott to the inside. Blair shuts him down. Max Blair, David Scott, it's a two-car battle. Old Bradford Speedway. David Scott to the inside of Max Blair through three and four. Blair slams the door again. Scott comes off the corner right on the inside. Side by side at the stripe. Blair by half a car leg. Blair leads. Scott now. Scott with a slight advantage coming off turn two. Drag race into turn three. Side by side. David Scott at the bottom. Blair now relegated to the outside. Scott with the advantage coming off. David Scott by Justin Holes at the stripe. Your new leader. Scott at the bottom. Blair now out to the outside. Scott washes up in front. Blair crisscrosses. Blair back to the inside. Scott with the lead. Blair now back to the inside. Side by side off the corner. Scott by a mere car link. Blair to the outside. Scott on the bottom. Blair with the outside. Gets a nice run. Blair with a deep run into turn three. Deep run. Blair to the outside. Scott right on the bottom next to the tires. Scott leads it to strike by a car link. What a battle. Two car races, they pull away. 10 laps to go, 10 laps to go. Scott down the back stretch with a two car length lead. Blair rolls it into turn three, deep on the outside. Blair brushes the fence, sparks fly. Off the corner again, Scott by a car length. Scott right on the inside. Blair looking to see if Scott will make, it a, make a mistake. Scott right on the bottom, Blair a little bit tighter, comes off the corner. Again, a car length lead for David Scott, nine to go. Two car battle, Eck comes to the stripe. Your two leaders down the back stretch, off turn two. Oaks holds on to fourth. Greg, boom, breaks fifth. 
David Scott's a slow ride. Two car length advantage into turn three. Eight laps to go. Scott starts to pull away. Blair trying to hang on. Max Blair trying everything he can do to get back to the point position. David Scott pulling away. Blair way up to the outside, rubbing the outside. Max Blair looking for any piece of traction he can get to propel himself back to the lead. Blair runs it deep into three. Scott right on the rails. Scott hugging it nice and tight. Max Blair using the whole speedway, looking for anywhere to go, trying to get back to the point. Scott, nice and easy. Five laps to go. Battle of the bull ring. What a battle it's been. Oh, two to go for David Scott. It's Scott, Blair, Eck, Oaks, and Boom Briggs. David Scott closing in on the lap cars of Nathan Hill and Bo Dobson white in the air. One more time around. One more time around for David Scott. Two lap cars in front of him. Doesn't look like they're going to play a factor. David Scott comfortable through three and four. David Scott on the bottom. Checkers in the air. Your winner of the Battle of the Bull Ring, David Scott. Max Blair second. Battle now for third. Doug Eck. Doug Eck will hold off. Greg Oaks. Boom brings your top five. David, congratulations. Second win in two nights. Great battle, great battle. Max had a big lead. You kept working him and working him, reeling it in. How'd you do it? Uh, Suppa and Nolte, good race car. Genesis Shocks, Rayburn. Man, that thing is just badass. I think Grandma Betty could drive that thing and still win with it. I don't know if we'd go that far. David, you're one heck of a wheelman, one of the best wheelmen I've ever seen around here. Always love to see you race, love to see you race well. Uh, First ever win here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess uh, it's the third time I've raced here. And uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, Wyatt got a great win here, actually on this night, uh, a couple years ago, so it's pretty cool. Uh, kind of a monumental win tonight. Tonight is the 200th United Late Model Series presented by Zimmer Service Center event. That's a big one. You're going you're gonna to get down in the uh, history books with that one as a trivia question. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know about that. Uh, Man, it, racing with up and these guys is a good time. They do all the work on the car. Let me work on Wyatt's car. Uh, Wyatt's a little frustrated right now, so he's taking a couple nights off. But, uh, man, just Brad and Terry and the whole crew, they work so hard on this thing. And it let me look at the racetrack and watch the racetrack, and we discuss setups and stuff. And, man, it just, it's, it's such a good race car. Uh, I can't believe there isn't more of them out here because it's obvious how good it is for there's no engineer involved in this. It's just thought process and just hardworking guys thinking outside the box. And I mean, when, when you can pass Max, I mean, this ain't maybe his forte, but he's so good at everything. When you can pass him, you've done your job. Well, I was going to get to that as my next point. I mean, Max had a big lead, and Max is so dominant everywhere he goes. And usually once he gets in the, gets in the lead, it's over with, but you just kept working it and working it and working it. And you could see you top to bottom, top to bottom. What was the strategy there? You seemed like you reeled them in the outside and bam, right to the inside, and you stayed there. How did you know that the inside was going to work for you? Well, like my car was good on the bottom early, and uh, and now what well, I was running fourth or whatever because I wasn't real good on top at first, and then uh, we got that restart and I got the third, so I had to start on the outside of Doug. And I'm looking kind of at the middle and the top, and I'm just. I'm not going to go down in there and turn down on Doug, okay? So I get along with Doug. We race each other good. Uh, so I didn't do that, and I just tried to roll that top. And Doug gave me enough room to do that because these straightaways are so narrow. If the guy on the bottom isn't being a little bit courteous, you can't race. And he knew I was up there, and he gave me a lane to race in, and we never touched the tire. And I don't know, we had to race three, four laps both times side by side. And I rolled that top, and I was like, I couldn't really do the bottom as good as Max was doing it then, so I just kept flinging that top. Well, then, I don't know if Max heard me. I, I can't believe you can get signals here. I sure can't take my eyes off the racetrack enough to see if anybody's telling me what to do. But he moved up, and it, but the opportunity was when he moved up, when his, he transitioned back to the bottom, 
I was there to fill the hole. And I was as good on the bottom as I was on top. So that's what I did, and it worked out. A little, little bit of a reversal of fortune there because then Max seemed like he went to the outside, but every lap you just inched it away and inched it away. And uh, well, somebody mentioned uh, you're going to go to the Dirt Million here in two weeks. I know that's out in somewhere in Ohio. I can't remember exactly where. Mansfield. And, yeah, I don't know much about this because I haven't paid any attention to it, but go Dirt Million, something, I don't know, something about Dirt Million. So uh, Dirt Million, and hopefully that gets me some. All right. Who would you like to thank besides – Terry, Brad, I know it's just a team effort, and one of the great things is to hear that. What a team effort this is. Well, uh, so Joel Smith does a lot with Terry and Brad, and uh, Genesis Shocks, Rayburn, Hoosier, Scott and Malkett, Jason Orr tunes it up from 955, uh, Cargo Auto Parts, Snow X, uh, Buckler Transport. I mean, there's so many people involved in this, uh, and I just, I'm lucky enough to get to drive it. It's a, such a good race car, so we'll just see what happens. All right. Well, again, congratulations. Let's hear it for him, the slow ride, David Scott, your third annual Battle of the Bullring winner.